Siksha Anusandhan has grown into a banyan tree in the last 15 years. The banyan tree has spread both vertically and horizontally in these years. Starting from a humble dream to have an institute of excellence in technical education in Orissa, the institute has made its mark in the education firmament not only in the state but also outside. It all started with modest 118 students as the Institute of Technical Education and Research ITER in 1996-97 academic session. The institute was an academic Professor Manuranjan Naik's dream and vision which sowed the seed for the institute. The seed has germinated into a mammoth tree which is known as the Siksha Vanusandhan University in Bhuvaneshwar today. With an experienced faculty and state-of-the-art infrastructure, ITER caught the imagination of students from the very outset. Since inception, the institute has been churning out quality graduates and postgraduates. Today it is recognized as one of Orissa's premier engineering institutes with an innovative curriculum impressive placement record, industry interface and quality faculty members. With a student strength of about 7000, most of ITR's disciplines are accredited and re-accredited by NBA, UGC. The institute offers B.Tech, M.Tech, MCA and PhD programs and has MOU with Infosys, Wipro, Hexaware, Mindtree, Sipet and IMMT Bhuvneshwar. To build a unique educational system to impart quality professional and technical education in the state took wings subsequently. He had a mission in hand to promote learning by students and faculty, to promote quality teaching of global perspective and relevance, to acquire skill through updated training and research. He tried to impart knowledge to students which will benefit the society. The vision was pretty clear to establish an effective, efficient and transparent system of examination and evaluation to promote the spirit of entrepreneurship among the students. The unique system of education attracted students and industry alike. The interaction with industry and corporate houses helped students realize their dreams and industry bodies find potential leaders among students. ITR's growth encouraged to set up the Institute of Business and Computer Studies IBCS soon after to provide quality education and management and a host of institutes followed including the School of Hotel Management SHM with a fine record among its peers. The Institute of Medical Sciences and some hospital which came up in the same patch of land behind the Khandagiri Hills where IBCS is located has also become a huge success story. This medical college is not only training medical students but the hospital has become Orissa's cheapest privately run hospital where patients get quality treatment at minimal cost. 
the SUM hospital, which has 750 beds and 150 cabins, has been discharging its social responsibility by serving the patients from the economically weaker sections of society. The diagnostic charges are nominal and less than government-run hospitals. Close to its motto, the hospital provides healthcare facilities including medicine, surgery and nutrition to the underprivileged patients without any cost. In some cases, life-saving surgeries performed on patients free of cost. The hospital campus also houses the Institute of Dental Sciences IDS and the SUM Nursing College SNC while the School of Pharmaceutical Sciences SPS was added to the number of institutes. The campus now boasts of more than 10 lakh square feet of modern academic infrastructure, hostels, cafeteria, gymnasium, state-of-the-art library. The mission got a major boost on July 17, 2007 when the cluster of institutes were declared as a deemed to be university under Section 3 of the UGC Act 1956 by the Union Ministry of Human Resources Development. Siksha Oanusandhan University is offering courses in various contemporary fields of education and research including engineering, medical science, dental science, nursing, business administration, hotel management, pharmacy, biotechnology, etc. The university also runs a plus two college in science which is affiliated to the university. A visiting UGC expert committee which reviewed the functioning of the university from August 10 to 12, 2009 has recommended continuation of the deemed university status to SOAU for further three years from 2009 to 10. The National Assessment and Accreditation Council NAAC of UGC, a team of which visited the university, has given it A grade while it has received ISO 9001-2000 certification of URS, UK, etc. The university put emphasis on postgraduate programs, the newly added programs being on VLSI design and embedded systems, structural engineering, computer science and data processing, energy systems and management, information technology, biotechnology, hospital administration, hospitality and tourism management, microbiology, anatomy, biochemistry, physiotherapy, pharmaceutical analysis and quality assurance, pharmacology, pharma technology, industrial biotechnology, medical and surgical nursing, community health nursing, mental health nursing, child health nursing, obstetric and gynecological nursing with a focus on emerging areas of professional studies. Doctoral programs leading to PhD degree are offered by the university. The Humble Education Institute started 15 years ago has made its mark. The small seed has grown into a mighty tree.